Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to start a very new topic in this unit that is the Fourier integral. So like the Fourier transform, uh, we will be having here Fourier integral and Fourier cosine and Fourier sine integral. So you all have to remember these definition in order to solve problem based on these uh, Fourier integrals. Okay. So the Fourier integral is uh, defined for the function and if it is uh, and it is defined as 1 by lambda integral 0 to infinity from minus infinity to infinity f of t cos lambda of t minus x dt d lambda where lambda is any parameter in place of lambda it, you may get omega or w or anything else okay like uh, this definition we have definition of Fourier cosine integral which is defined as f of x is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity cos lambda x d lambda integral 0 to infinity f of t into cos lambda t dt and in the similar way you can define the sine Fourier sine integral okay now let us take this uh, problem uh, this problem says find uh, using the Fourier integral show that this is equal to pi by 2 e to the power minus x okay now as you can see there is nothing is there okay so I can make use of this definition or this definition I am going to make use of this definition why because in the result itself it is given sine okay so I am going to make use of the Fourier sine integral So first of all, let us uh, write down the given function. You can write over here itself solution. Let f of x is equal to, what is my f of x? This, pi by 2 into e to the power minus 6 and here x is greater than 0. Okay, so taking Fourier Taking Fourier sine integral of f of x, we get taking Fourier sine integral of f of x. Taking Fourier sine integral of f of x, we get we get what we get. We get f of x is equal to we have this f of x is equal to 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity integration 0 to infinity sine now instead uh, I will write sine lambda x into d lambda into integration 0 to infinity if my f of x is this what would be my f of t my f of t is going to be pi by 2 e to the power minus t into sine lambda t into sine lambda t dt okay now uh, okay now you can do one thing you can just uh, simply integrate this because this is integration with respect to t so you can write this as a 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity sine lambda x into pi by 2 integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus t into sine lambda t dt d lambda okay now we know how to deal with such problems so apply the integration over here the special formula of integration so this is 2 by 5 integration 0 to infinity sine lambda x into what about this I can take this 2 by pi I can or uh, I'm already having 2 by pi and we have this pi by 2 so this gate uh, cancel sine lambda x into now applying here the integration by uh, parts special formula so this is 1 upon what is this minus 1 square is 1 plus 
lambda square e to the power minus t into minus 1 into sine lambda t minus derivative of sine lambda t is cos lambda t into lambda okay and this is 0 to infinity d lambda now apply the limits upper limit minus lower limit now I have f of x what is my f of x I can write it here pi by 2 into e to the power minus x what is this this is integration 0 to infinity sine lambda x into what is it this is uh, 1 upon 1 plus lambda square now this is integration with respect to t so you just have to substitute t is equal to infinity and t equal to 0 the moment you substitute t equal to minus infinity so t minus e to the power minus infinity is 0 so 0 into anything 0 minus put t equal to 0 so it is e to the power 0 minus 1 sin 0 minus lambda cos 0 okay and this is d lambda simple now this is integration 0 to infinity sin lambda x into 1 upon 1 plus lambda square e to the power 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 so this is minus lambda and this is minus 1 plus so I am getting this lambda upon this d lambda simple now look at the answer we have the right hand side to get this left hand side what I need to do is uh, I just need to replace uh, this lambda by w right and that we can do with the help of that we can do with the help of what the property of definite integration okay so can write uh, is as pi by 2 e to the power minus x equal to integration 0 to infinity this is sine because this is in terms of lambda so this is uh, omega x okay into omega upon 1 plus omega square d omega that is this simple and if you are not getting this actually we applied here the property of definite integration if you don't get it you can write put lambda is equal to w this implies d lambda equal to dw limits are unchanged and then this and this implies this okay so i hope this uh, problem is clear to you you just need to remember only the uh, definition of fourier integral fourier sine and cosine integral so i hope this is clear to you in the upcoming lectures we'll take more problems on this uh, fourier integral so Till then, enjoy learning mathematics and have a good day. Thank you.